Hello, my name is Connor McGrath, and I will be auditioning for the role of Mitch. Do we have to have the fan on? No. I don't like fans. Then let's turn it off, honey. I'm not partial to them. I don't know what there is to drink. I haven't investigated. I don't want Stan's liquor. It isn't Stan's. Everything here isn't Stan's. Some things on the premises are actually mine. How is your mother? Isn't your mother well? Why? Something's the matter tonight. But never mind, I won't cross-examine the witness. I'll just pretend I don't notice anything different about you. That music again. Huh? The Varsuviana. The, the polka tune that they were playing. Wait, Alan. There. Now the shot. It always stops after that. Are yes, you? now it stopped. Are you boxed out of your mind? I'll go and see what I can find in the way of... Oh, by the way, excuse me for not being dressed, but I'd practically given up on you had you forgotten about our invitation to supper. I wasn't going to see you anymore. Wait a minute. I can't hear what you're saying... And you talk so little that when you do say something, I don't want to miss a single syllable of it. What am I looking around here for? Oh, yes, liquor. We've had so much excitement around here with this evening, and I'm <clears throat> boxed out of my mind. Here's something. Southern comfort. What is that, I wonder? If you don't know, then it must be Stan's. Take your foot off that bed. I had a lack cover on it. Of course you boys don't notice things like that. I've done so much with this place ever since I've been here. You saw it before I, bet you I have. came. Well, look at it now. This room is almost dainty. I want to keep it that way. I wonder if this stuff ought to be mixed with something. Um, it's sweet, so sweet. It's terribly, terribly sweet. Why, it's a liqueur, I believe. Yes, that's what it is. It's a liqueur. <clears throat> I'm afraid you won't like it, but try it. And maybe you will. I told you already, I don't want none of his liquor, and I mean it. You want to lay off his liquor. He says that you've been lapping it up all summer like a wildcat. What a fantastic statement. Fantastic of him to say it. Fantastic of you to repeat it. I won't descend to the level of such cheap accusations to answer them either. Huh? What's in your mind? I see something in your eyes. I like it's dark. The dark. Here. the uh, dark is comforting to me. I, I don't think I've ever seen you in the light. That's a fact. Is it? I've never seen you in the afternoon. Uh, whose fault is that? You never want to go out in the afternoon. Well, Mitch, you're at the plant in the afternoon. Not Sunday afternoon. I've always asked you to go out with me sometimes on Sundays, but you always make the excuse. You never want to go out until after six, and, and that's always some place that's not lighted much. There is some obscure meaning in this, but I failed to catch it. What it means is... I've never had a real good look at you, Blanche. That? Wait, which lad? What for? That's why I'm here with the paper on it. What did you do that for? So I can look at you of good and plain. you don't really mean to be insulted. No, just realistic. I don't want realism. I want magic. <laughs> yes, yes, magic. I try to give that to people. I misrepresent things to them. I don't tell the truth. I tell what ought to be the truth. And if that is sinful, well, let me be damned for it. Turn that light off. I don't mind you being older than you said you th I thought. But all the rest of it, Christ, it, that pitch about your ideals being so old-fashioned and all the malarkey that you've dished out all summer? Oh, I knew you weren't 16 anymore, but I was fool enough to believe that you were straight. Who told you I wasn't straight? My loving brother-in-law, and you believed him? I called him a liar at first. And then I checked on the story. First, I asked the supply man who travels through Laurel, and then I talked directly over long distances merchant. Who is this merchant? Keithaber? The merchant Keithaber of Laurel. 
I know the man. He whistled at me. I put him in his place. So now, for revenge, he makes up stories about Three me. Three people. Keith Burr, Stanley, and Shaw swore to them. Rub a dub dub, three men in the tub, and such a filthy tub. Didn't you say at a hotel called the Flamingo? Flamingo? No, Tarantula was the name of it. I stayed at the ha hotel called the Tarantula Arms. Tarantula? Yes, a big spider. That's where I brought my victims. Yes, I had many intimacies with strangers after the death of Alan. Intimacies with strangers that all I seemed able to fill up my empty heart with. I think it was panic, just panic that drove me from one to another, hunting for some protection here and there in the most unlikely places. Even at last in a 17-year-old boy, but somebody wrote the superintendent about it. This woman is morally unfit for her position. True. Yes, I suppose unfit somehow anyway, so I came here. There was nowhere else I could go. I was played out. You know what played out is? My youth was suddenly gone up the water spout and I met you. You said you needed somebody. Well, I needed somebody too. I thanked God for you because you seemed to be so gentle. A cleft in the rock of the world that I could hide in. But I guess I was asking, hoping too much. Keithaber, Stanley, and Shaw have tied an old tin can to the tail of the kite. You lied to me, Blanche. Don't say I lied to you. Lies, lies, inside and out, all lies. Never inside. I didn't lie in my heart. What do you want? What I've been missing all summer. Then marry me, Mitch. I don't think I want to marry you anymore. No? You're not clean enough to bring him to this house with my mother. Go away, then. Get out of here quick before I start screaming fire. Get out of here quick before I start screaming fire. Fire! 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 Thank you very much.